Nando, he won like a couple of matches just by doing EX chest bump and then another chest bump did like quarter health. Yep. It was insane. Anyways, good old days of four gone. Uh, got Pavocado. He's wearing his, uh, I don't know, what is that? American right. Gladiator. He's playing his avocado suit. Pavocado suit. Oh, it is green. All right. But you know what? Andy doing a great job of calming this round down, keeping Pavocado out. Uh, is it just me? I feel like so many people have that stand jab as an anti-air that's so effective, and not a, a lot, lot of people of use it. characters, especially on a character like Akali, probably the best stand jab in the game. Yeah, I just feel like you have so much potential with it. Understandably, oh. I'd be scared too if I got a jump in from Mika. Great defense here, but Pablo fires his one chance. All right, what's he make happen? Lose yourself. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Andy. Good defense, oh. and the last overhead to take the round. Man. Sensing that hesitation from Mambo just wanted to block that one out. The color looks so badass when he's featuring it. Every color I've seen so far just looks so good on him. Mm -hmm. Beast mode, 100%. Pretty much. Catching the toes. Pavo trying to get some offense here. Mm, great challenge there from Andy, though, recognizing the drop kick. I like that Pavocado's waking up with normals, recognizing that he doesn't have time to do anything. Ooh, the Ooh. bait! Oh my god, Andy, not deterred though. He's been doing that. Double uppercuts. Ooh, stunner! And gets to kill the meter as well. Because Stone Cold says so. Oh, that's Dan Jab. We're just talking about it. And once bop. again, the call out. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, didn't kill, but very close. Oh, just walks back at that tiny bit of range out of the throw. That did range. not look like he escaped the grab at all. Uh, his claws were still in her face. <laughs> pixels, pixels. He's trying to go in for a midnight kiss and didn't get it. Oh, not in range there, but pop, big drop there from Andy will get Pablo caught in the corner. Andy tried to find his way out. It hurts so much though, and finds the mix-up as well. Pablo Cotto. throws the mic. The disrespect. And I wonder if the mic increases his super damage as well as command throws. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, sure it does something. It, Pablo isn't that much of a show off. Well, it increases time. his next command throw damage for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Pablo got dodged off just and all. taunting in front of him on the stun. Oh man, Pablo doesn't care if it's flashy as long as it's optimal. Yeah, that's true, man. <gasps> what? Oh my God! Just tried to go crazy. Thought he had the reactions. I respect the decision. The attempt that was made. You know what it is? Every time Andy does this resign thing, he, he probably has a timeout thing on his controller to do a, the mod. Oh, you're right. So every yeah, round he just every resets. Every round he has to do it. So he doesn't actually get knocked out in the middle of the round. That actually makes sense. And why don't people just buy a stick that doesn't... I would just spend the money if I played it this much. Yes. Hey. Everyone has to do their own finances. That's true, that's true. Ooh, and we're seeing how much Pablo Cotto is respecting that uppercut, because Andy showed it so much last game. Choosing to do shimmies on the wake up. Yeah. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Uh-huh, here's the conversion uh, to the corner. Right. Oh! Wow, I like that reset. Stun? Yeah, wow. That was so cool. He got him just as he was going out. Oh, and then to the other side to take the round. That was really interesting. I gotta give him mad props for that. Hey, Andy still could do this. We saw some great rounds for this night. If he could slow down and get back to his game plan. Right now, it just seems like Pavo is just he's gonna play even, his game. Yeah, he's not even really doing bad. It's just that Pavo is is dominating just a little harder. Yeah, he's winning the neutral game. He's getting in. He's getting to play his mix-up game. But in this game, man, one hit. That's all it can take. Oh, finally, Andy had great defense. Missing a lot of damage here, though. Okay, this time oh, he does find it. Right. Damage. Life lead. Yeah. Was that half health? <laughs> enough, enough. Oh, she just wants one. Oh, that should be it, though. Oh, she my God, so close. Into super. <gasps> or just super. Oh, no! It burnt all that meter, also. Okay, that was interesting for two reasons. One, the jump, but also when he came down, he didn't hit her. She like moved a little forward to the whiff out of the range. That was interesting. All right. Good old Andy, still in it. Mm -hmm. 
Background bro doing safety dance. Yeah, Pavo just playing this a little more safe, it seems. Oh, there we go, though. Find the command grab. A double command grab. So aggressive here. Do it here. again. Oh, I would have loved it. An interesting sensitive defensive change from Andy, who hasn't showed an uppercut for a whole round at least, going for the more meaty and your command grab steps again. Yeah, that's true. Wondering if Andy's going to make adjustment on the next offensive sequence. Also choosing to use, I think, more of his uh, B reversal in his trigger, it looked like. Oh, uh, there it was finally. Pompacolo sniffed it out. Yeah. And that will take him the match. I wonder why... Yeah. I don't see enough uh, Nikali's go for their V reversal, is it?